It is not over until it's over. And Lobo basketball is not over yet. Our team is in the postseason, even if it's not, you know, the big tournament everybody talks about that most fans were hoping for this year. The Lobos might have left to Vegas a little, little down on their luck, yeah. but it turned around when they found out postseason hopes still alive. Tamara Lopez is at the pit for us tonight. Tamara, a very loyal fan, says he's already getting ready for that game later this week. Tessa, that's right. And everyone has been a Lobo this season. He talked to us a little bit about how exciting that season is. And like you mentioned, that season is not over quite yet. He talked to us about the excitement ahead of Wednesday's game here at the pit. If you've been a fan as long as I have, the difference in, in, in the outcome of a basketball game can be by the, by, the, by the crowd. Jimmy Montoya has been a Lobo basketball season ticket holder for decades. Even a disappointing finish for the Lobos in the Mountain West Conference can't keep him away. I feel good. I'll be there. He'll be rooting as usual. Montoya secured his ticket for the National Invitation Tournament game Wednesday. It's not the national tournament some fans were hoping for, but Lobo head coach Richard Patino says it's still a big deal. Very, very proud to be in postseason for the first time since 2014. Um, all of what we've been able to do this year is only going to help us build for future success. <laughs> He says many games selling out with crowds over 15,000 is a testament to the team lifting up our state. To see them be able to win and be re ranked where they were, and to see them being the crowds back, at least we have something to, to be proud of for the city of Albuquerque and the state of New Mexico. Patino says getting to the NCAA tournament is not easy, but this year the Lobos were so close. You know, only 19% of our schools get to go to the NCAA tournament and certainly that is what we all dream of being in. I've been lucky as the Lobos are ranked number two in their NIT division, earning them a home game at the pit. That's a mile high and louder than by the time I get home I can't even speak. The guy's been screaming so long. You know, that's, that's one of those things. Well, yeah, I'm just a proud Lobo. Hopefully packed with fans who fell in love with Lobo basketball again. Let's go show everybody what our fan base is all about. Go Lobos! <laughs> so the Lobo men take on Utah Valley here at the pit on Wednesday. And if they win that matchup, there is a possibility for another game here at the legendary pit. Back to you guys.